There's going to be a dance program at this school next week. This is just a rehearsal. The dance is about fairies in a garden. Joan is the fairy queen. That's George, who just got sneezed on. He's the prince. In the basket that just got sneezed on is candy for the fairies. It does seem that Joan is catching a cold. If she is, the others might catch it from her. Let's hope they don't. But a few days later, two of the fairies are absent. And the next day, only one fairy has come to rehearsal. And where is George? He's here with the school nurse. He has a fever and a cold. She's calling his mother. George should be home in bed. And on the next day, no one has come to rehearsal, not even Joan. And the dance program has been postponed. Joan does have a cold, just as all the other children in the program have. Dr. Green is the family doctor. Joan's temperature is 100 degrees. That's higher than normal. She has a fever. Joan's temperature should be normal for at least one day before she goes out again. So she'll stay indoors to take care of her cold. Paper hankies are good because you can throw them away. Joan blows gently. That keeps germs in her nose from going into her ears. Mother pinned this bag here. Mother turned on the vaporizer, too. That puts moisture into the air. Moisture helps Joan breathe more easily. Joan feels especially bad because it was probably her fault that the dance program had to be postponed. Colds are caused by germs called viruses. But Dr. Green has told Joan and her mother how to avoid colds. We'll see what Joan does. And then perhaps you'll be able to avoid colds, too. It's several days later, and Joan is well again. She's going out to play. The thermometer outside her window says the temperature is 45 degrees. That means that it's cool outside. What kind of clothing should she wear? A light jacket? or a warmer coat. The coat. It's too cool for the jacket. Joan knows that one way to avoid colds is to be sure you're warm enough when you're outdoors. Should she wear a sweater, too? Not today. Then she might be too warm. The best way to avoid colds is not to be too warm or too cold when you're outdoors. Joan's friends are happy to see her again. They've missed her. Would she like a bite of Jim's apple? Oh, no. Taking bites from food that another person is eating is one way to get cold germs. Joan doesn't want another cold. But Sally thinks she may be getting one. Maybe she shouldn't be out today. She has been sneezing a lot. When Sally sneezes, she tries to cover her nose and mouth. Covering your sneeze helps to keep the viruses that cause colds from spreading. But if Sally is getting a cold, Joan doesn't want to be too close to her. Dr. Green told Joan that people with colds can spread them through the air. 
perhaps this far, by talking or coughing or sneezing. Now it's nearly dinner time. Joan always washes her hands before she eats. Plenty of soap and water helps you wash away all kinds of germs. Another way that Joan is avoiding colds is by using her own towel. Not that one, that one, which no one else uses. Having your own towel helps you stay well. Now it's dinner time. Does it seem to you that Joan is avoiding a cold? Well, she is. Just look at her plate. Here are foods that are good for her. Joan's mother prepares nourishing foods every day to help keep her whole family well and strong. Keeping well and strong helps your body fight colds. Joan goes to bed early. She gets all the sleep she needs. That also keeps her body strong so it can fight germs. And so, Joan is avoiding a cold. At school, Joan and the other children have begun rehearsing for their program again. Their teacher hopes that no one gets a cold this time. Joan is certainly trying to avoid one. But sometimes, as much as you try to avoid a cold, you still might get one. That's what happened to Joan's father. He's got a cold now. Joan doesn't want to get too close to him. Joan's father is staying home today so that the other people in his office won't catch his cold. Mother has done some things that will help protect the rest of the family while Joan's father is sick. She's put paper cups in the bathroom so father won't have to use the regular cup. He's going to gargle with some medicine Dr. Green gave him. He'll spit into the toilet to keep his cold viruses away from the sink. And here's where the paper cups go. In the wastebasket. Mother takes special care of the dishes and other things father uses while he's sick. She boils them for 20 minutes. That will kill nearly all the germs on them. She pours boiling water on the rest of the dishes to help kill viruses that might not have been washed off. Everyone is working together to help Joan avoid a cold. At school, rehearsals are going very well. One of the girls got the sniffles and didn't come today, but everyone else seems fine. Joan's on her way home from school now. This is where she usually crosses the street. That puddle doesn't seem too deep. If Joan is very careful... Uh-oh, it's deeper than she thought. Now her feet are all wet. Wet feet can give you a chill. Anytime you're chilled, it's easier for you to catch a cold. That's why, as soon as she gets home, Joan puts on dry shoes and stockings. She's trying very hard to avoid a cold. Do you think she'll avoid it? Let's see. The day of the dance program has come. Behind this curtain, the children are ready to begin. Many parents and brothers and sisters and friends are in the audience. There's George. And there are the fairies. But where's Joan? Is she sick? Is she in bed with a cold? <laughs> 